Hey, Bubble Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are gonna talk about some big money bolos. I am gonna tell you where she got it, what she paid for it, and what it sold for. Hey, Bubble Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Now, this is one of my Bolo Buddies members, and she has a newer YouTube channel, and she is fantastic. Oh my goodness, you got to go check out her channel. First, I'm going to show you her channel, then I'm going to share with you her Bolos. So she is Stellar Seller Sam, and you guys hear me trip all, all over that name all the time because it's a tongue twister, but she's got 407 subscribers. Let's see how many we can get her to. All right. So I'm going to link her down below. You guys go and sub her up. She has incredible editing skills. She is a bolo finder and look at her thumbnails. I mean, I can't believe she's not getting crazy views with these thumbnails. They are incredible and she is a super awesome person. So let's show her some love with a sub. And here is her eBay store. She is also Stellar Seller Sam over there. You can click on that heart and that will save her as a seller. That will alert you when she posts new items and also when um, she sends out coupons or something like that. She has 66 followers. So you guys, I will link her eBay store down below. Go follow her. Let's see how high we can get that number also. So here are just some of the items that are in her store. So you guys can check that out down below. The first item she sold, rubber drip slip drink mats. And she got these at the Goodwill bins, I do believe. She said she normally likes to go. They have a half off day at her Goodwill bins. How cool is that? She had approximately $3 in all of these. One person bought all of them for a total of $52 plus shipping. So be on the lookout for these bar spill mats. The next item she sold is this Rainbow Bright doll. And we're going to work from smallest bolo to biggest bolo. So the best bolo is going to be at the end. So stay tuned. It's a Rainbow Bright. She got it at the Goodwill for 50 cents and sold it for a best offer of $35 plus shipping. It still has the original tag. It looks fantastic. These are Tory Burch shoes. And she will sell anything from clothing to shoes to hard goods. So you're going to find a lot of variety on her channel. She got these at the Goodwill Benz. How do you find Tory, Tory Burch at the Goodwill Benz? I know people find shoes all the time, but I usually skip the shoe section. So that's probably why I'm not finding them. She paid $2 for these and sold them for $30 plus shipping. The next item is this Texas Instruments graphing calculator man oh man yeah if you find one of these pick it up anything that is graphing like this these are usually big money bolos she paid a dollar for this at the goodwill bins and sold it for 43 dollars and 51 cents they do range from this price range up to over a hundred dollars even not being new pre-owned this is a j crew wool jacket she got this also at the goodwill bins for about three dollars and sold it for $42.75 plus shipping. And that is a great find. Look at the condition. Can you believe that was at the Goodwill Benz? She does have Goodwill Benz videos over on her channel so you can watch her dig. This one video, she had a saw. A saw. Yeah, go check it out. She's sawing the box. Her Goodwill Benz is way different than mine. You've got to check it out. It's I would not like her bins at all. <laughs> it made me really happy that mine are the way they are. This is an Anki Cosmo robot toy only missing, uh, toy only missing treads code showed when put on dock powers up. I don't know what any of that means, but anyway, she got this at the bins for a dollar and sold it for $58 and 75 cents plus shipping. This is an embalming book, and this one kind of geeked her out a little bit. I think she got it home and kind of realized after she opened it up and looked at some of the pictures that it was a little bit different. So check out her channel for more information on that. She got this for a dollar at the bins and sold it for $45 plus shipping. This is a Five Nights at Freddy's. Uh, Anna, Trum Anna, I can't ever say this word. Anna Matronic Funko. 
Is it Funko or Funko? I think it's Funko. I always say the wrong thing. Funko. <laughs> it's a jump scare fa uh, Fazbear. I don't know. I don't know what he does. But this is the tags. She said this was something she just had sitting around her house and she was happy to take $58.72 plus shipping for that. These are Jack Rogers black embroidered parrots whim whip stitched thong sandals. So some keywords I would not know to use right there. So check her out for keywords on clothing and shoes. These are a size 10. She got these at the Goodwill bin, or no, I'm sorry, the Goodwill, just the regular Goodwill, not the Goodwill bins. You got to pay more at the regular Goodwill. These were $5.25 and she took a best offer of $45 plus shipping. This is a rare popular imports 1964 Ford Mustang convertible resin sculpture. Uh, would you have picked it up or would you have walked right past it? Let me know down in the comments. I don't know what I would have done with this item. I don't know if I would have picked it up or not, but she did. And she got it for $2 at the Goodwill, flipped it for a best offer of $55 plus shipping. This is Juliana Ray women's green tap pant. Large lingerie, new with tags, 100% silk with lace trim. She got these at the Goodwill, the regular Goodwill, for $2.50 and took a best offer of $45 plus shipping. And here's what your tag looks like. The next item is this Nike NBA Oklahoma City Thunder Russell Westbrook Swingman jersey, size 48. She got this at the Goodwill for $1.50 and sold it for a best offer of $40 plus shipping. Here are more of those Anki Cosmo, but these are the cubes. It's a set of three cubes, no, ro no robot, see description. And this was a smart thing to do is to put this information here. So somebody that is buying this knows how it works because I would not know how this works. I've never seen these before, but I'm definitely going to be on the lookout. She got these at the Goodwill bins for a dollar and sold them for 75 plus shipping. These Nike Air Max up-tempo deep royal men's shoes, size eight and a half. These are basketball shoes from 2014. She picked these up at the Goodwill bins for $6 and 25 cents and sold them for a best offer of 61 plus shipping. This is a Brahman? Uh, bra 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 <laughs> that one took me a minute. I don't know if I said it right or not. But it's a lime green, hard to find color, Melbourne Croc embossed zip leather wallet clutch. Again, great keywords. She put this on auction and sold it for $81 plus shipping. She got it at the Goodwill, but she forgot to tell me how much she paid for it. So uh, definitely a bolo and a brand I did not know about. So be on the lookout. The next item is this vintage Leonard silver plate champagne bucket, urn wine ice chiller tarnish. And she got this at the Goodwill for $4 and took a best offer of 67 plus shipping. This is a vintage coach purse and it has the turn lock. If you guys get to know what the vintage coach look like they are definitely a bolo she got this at the goodwill bins for two dollars and sold it for 84 dollars and 17 cents plus shipping vintage coach these old style are definitely a bolo this is a world stamp collection album and let's see just what this looks like exactly huh that's what it looks like and i don't know if somebody actually put their own stamps in there it looks like maybe they did so you kind of fill up the book. Yeah, you fill up the book with your stamps when you find them. That's interesting and fun. She got this at the Goodwill bins for $3, took a best offer of $55 plus shipping. Headgear Classics Pink Don't Be a Menace Satin Jacket, adult size, small, brand new. She got this at a online auction for $7, took a best offer of $70 plus shipping. This is a Stanley Adventure Travel tumbler and this is what it looks like it was i don't know it's used it's pre-owned i thought maybe it was new old stock no it is pre-owned now we all know that starbucks tumblers can be a big money bolo this one sold for two hundred dollars two hundred dollars she got it to the bins for two bucks the goodwill bins this is a vintage lb Ita uh, italy fratelli 
Pottery, MCM Mythical Lion Plate. It is signed. Let's look at the signage on the back right here. And she got this at an online auction for $17 and took a best offer of $135. Again, this is Stellar Seller Sam. Go show her some love with a sub. Hey guys, so I'm doing This Is My Bolo. My name is Sarah. I also go by Sam because those are my initials. Anyway, I wanted to share with you this because I found them at the bins. Would y'all believe that? At the bins. So I dug and dug, because I'm a digger, because I know things sink to the bottom. So I dug and I came across these Bose headphones and I was like, oh my gosh, they had a case, they had all the accessories needed, and I ended up auctioning them off on eBay for $191. So I will take a dollar and put it on eBay and make $191 any day of the week. Anyway, I was so excited. This is my Bolo and thanks for watching. Hey guys, I am literally in my eBay closet right now. And before I forget, I wanted to do This Is My Bolo. All right, so This Is My Bolo. I found this Lisa Frank, um, buzz the bumblebee at the bins was the last thing i came across and i picked it up and i was like oh my gosh it's lisa frank so i bought them and i put them on auction and obviously it did really great so thanks for watching my channel is stellar seller sam on youtube and it'd be great if you guys would give me a follow and do not forget to pick up that Lisa Frank plush. See ya. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Those were some of her big money bolos. Uh, just fantastic. A lot of things that I probably would have walked right past. So let me know which item in the comments was your favorite, maybe one that you didn't know about, maybe one that you would have wanted for personal use. Uh, go check out her store and her YouTube channel. Let's see how many new subscribers we can get her and how many followers we can get her on eBay. Thank you guys so much for your support. I appreciate it so much. I have featured many YouTubers on this channel or eBay stores. Not everybody is a YouTuber that I have featured. I feature their bolos. So go check them all out. They are all bolo finders and fantastic. And I um, would love for you to go and check out some of those other videos. Thank you guys so much for being here. Check out some videos up here and down below. Be sure to subscribe if you have not already. And thanks for watching.